Hi everyone, it's Sheila. Happy 2023. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season and a great new year. If you've been following my channel at all, you may be wondering, where have I been for a couple of months? Well, that's a good question, and I was going to give you an update on my progress so far on my health journey. Last I uh, posted a video was right before Thanksgiving, and we had a wonderful holiday, uh, Thanksgiving, um, almost throughout the most of the month of, of uh, November. I was walking consistently on a daily basis. I mentioned that before in the previous video. And even after Thanksgiving, even though I may not have been perfect on Thanksgiving Day, I went back on program and started walking more consistently again that following week. But then the following week after, everyone in our house came down sick. My husband first, and then my kids, and then me. Um, my husband tested, and he ended up with COVID, which ended up giving it to the rest of the household. So for about the first two weeks of December, it was not good for me. Um, I just wasn't feeling good. I was very low of energy. And whenever you're sick, all you wanna do is eat some comfort food. Things like chicken noodle soup, mac and cheese, maybe ramen or a pasta of some sort. And so I feared off track and I take full responsibility of that. Um, but then when I got to feeling better, it was time for the, for Christmas. So that was quite busy for all of us. And, uh, even though I tried to get back on program, my activity level just didn't, wasn't able to get back up there. I was so busy getting stuff prepared, wrapping the presents, getting the house ready and all that and the menu. And so I decided I would just enjoy myself through the holidays, not stress myself. Cause I remember what happens when I overstress myself, when I put too much pressure on myself and just really Put myself in a position where I start feeling bad about myself. I did not want that at all. I wanted to look forward to 2023 as a fresh start again and make this year a better year. If you followed me, you know that 2022 was just not my year. A lot of changes happened, a lot of events that occurred that was just not in my control and making adjustments to those things was somewhat difficult, but it's a new year. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed Christmas and didn't deny myself, but to be honest, I've put on some pounds. So some of the progress I made this year, I kind of lost it. So I, although I haven't regained all of the weight that I lost, but I still need to get back on track and get back to working. So, um, for 2023, I have so many goals that I want to accomplish this year, things around the house that I want to fix up and do. Um, but also things that I want to do with my, in myself. Um, I want to improve my habits create better, more consistent routines for exercising, walking, what, um, eating and cooking more consistently. And uh, one of the things that I, well, actually a couple of things that I uh, got to help me in that planning stage is um, a couple of planners to help me with setting goals and keeping track of my progress. So I wanted to show you that and give you a bit of a haul. Okay, the first thing that I got was last year, back in September, I got a Commit 30 um, planner. And I started using it back in September where I was starting to document my walking and just started initially just little things. 
um, mainly it was focusing on my progress on how well I was walking and and I like using stickers to make things a little bit cute and um, you know liven it up and just make it fun uh, and I also keep track of the weather and winter and all that so this is what we used for 2022 for my new planner that I got it turned out to be purple which was the color of our groups commit to health which I had no idea it was going to be like this because I ordered this at the same time I ordered the other one and I haven't opened this yet so it's basically the same kind of thing you know where you get your stickers got a bookmark and it does give you some instructions at the front on how to use your vision and visualize your goals setting your monthly goals how to use how you might want to use your daily action steps and all of that and basically it's the same same look as the other and I just want to document my goals and really work on setting new goals um, with my commit 30 because I like my stickers I did get their sticker books <laughs> And um, I got the life sticker book, the fitness sticker book, holiday, and just the regular sticker book that has where I can keep track of my hydrate and to do's and just regular daily um, things, you know, holidays, whatever. So I just wanted to have fun and keep track of my progress. But it's not just my fitness and nutrition that I want to um, work on. It is other things like family and the household things, just regular life stuff. So I got a planner from the Passionate Penny Pincher that has like just regular daily routines that you normally would do on a routine basis. but. Because of the things that I've, I, I just put a lot of things off. Um, sometimes whenever you ha have anxiety or depression, sometimes you just kind of shut down. And I, I did a little bit of that this year. So I've got a lot of work around the house to do. But I wanted to get this planner from them. And uh, I've never opened this up. It is just the regular home planner. It's in the bubble wrap. Okay, it's uh, got monthly calendars, weekly calendars, daily task checklists, uh, weekly home project schedule, scripture reading plan, um, budget tracking, meal planning, additional checklists, stickers, and a pocket ruler. And, you know, I've, I've mentioned my faith before in other videos, and I feel like, I feel like God's put me here for a purpose. I don't fully understand it yet, and I don't even know if I'm fully capable. You know, you know me, if you've watched any of my other videos, sometimes I just don't have that good of confidence in myself or believe that I'm good enough. But I wanted to work on that and improve. I want to get better. And I love this saying, I'm peace. I will lay down and sleep for you alone, Lord. Make me dwell in safety. That's Psalm 4, 8. And that's it. I need to lean on him. And he will give me peace and, and safety. So, um, it's got a hello card. It's got a cute um, uh, ruler that you can, I think you can adjust it. Yeah, you can use it for like a, a um, oh, what do you call it? A, a, a tag that you can, you know, flip through things. Um... Let's see. Here's a sheet of stickers. Bones two. 
and just gives you a little rundown on hints on how to use the the check the how to use the planner um, sp spring checklist yard and home maintenance checklist just me you know some things you just you do you get into a habit of doing them and you just don't even think about them well if you're not in those habit of doing you know cleaning certain areas sometimes certain areas get lost in the shuffle and I just wanted to improve my house cleaning and work on check you know work on it myself <laughs> and there's there's nothing wrong with that at all January here's a monthly calendar and here's a week at a glance where you can put uh, there you can put checklists of different things here on each individual day if it's more date specific and then just your regular routines to make sure like if you want to improve about exercising every day so you know I, I take a shower every day but it's got that making my bed so I, there for a long time I didn't make my bed for a long time so I've been I've actually been improving upon that in the last week or two so making my bed laundry my husband usually does the laundry but I want to try and pick up that task for him washing the dishes is another thing um, that sometimes I just put off and procrastinate about getting that put away yep I, I'm, I'm loving this and then every day has a day a short little daily checklist of things that you can do oh yeah Psalms Proverbs Ecclesiastes Song of Songs and Isaiah and so by the end of the year you'll actually have gone through all of those books of the Bible if that's your preference and uh, I, I want to get into that and work on my spiritual and emotional self because I struggled a lot last year and I want this year to be so much better and uh, so at the end of each month you've got a monthly budget that you can keep track of what your spending was and I want to try to improve our savings this year um, so this is perfect for what I need and so I think with combination of the combination of the uh, passionate pin uh, the the home planner the, the, by passionate penny pincher and my commit 30 planner I think 2023 is going to be just a fabulous year so that's it guys um, I hope you join me for this year and if you have any health goals or just any other personal goals that you want to set for yourself and want to join me in this personal self transformation that you want to do for yourself uh, you know leave a comment down below and let me know so that I can cheer you on and and encourage you as much as you guys encourage me um, I've got to uh, put a stop to this video right now because it's time for me to go pick up my kids from school so you guys have a great year and i will uh get back with you again in probably in a couple of weeks to see how how i'm doing on my progress and find out how you guys are doing you guys have a good day bye bye